Hi, I'm Victoria Samba and welcome to Sky Thoroughbred Central News. English jockey James Doyle will be looking for his first winner tomorrow since moving to Sydney for Godolphin. He has five rides at Rose Hill, including the favourite in race one, Trekking. 28-year-old Doyle has ridden 17 Group 1 winners in 14 countries. The track at Rose Hill Gardens is expected to remain a good four for tomorrow. The feature is the Group 3 Steel Builders Festival Stakes, where Chris Waller's Religify is favourite. He'll be hoping to make it two in a row. And Regis has recovered from the injury that saw him scratched from the railway stakes a fortnight ago. Amavatio is coming off a good run at Flemington and Tommy Berry takes the ride. Yeah, look, his he's, uh, past couple of runs in Melbourne have been really good. He's been attacking the line quite strong of late and uh, he's always like that. He just needs a bit of luck go his way. He'll, um, he'll get back in the run and he just needs to speed on and, and to get all the runs down the straight. But he's a very consistent galloper and uh, he rarely runs a bad race. So uh, he's probably one of my better rides of the day, I think. In the listed Starlight Stakes, Nita is favourite despite drawing gate 12. This race is her toughest test yet. Josh Parr takes the ride. What a lovely filly. Uh, a brilliant turn of foot. She, um, she goes into the, into the race, deserved favourite, albeit she has to take on probably the hardest field she's met to date. Uh, you get her to relax, she starts breathing correctly, uh, she gets herself into a really nice rhythm and that's when you see the, an exceptional turn of foot. In the starlight, Group 1 place Shiraz makes his debut for trainer Kim Moore alongside stablemate Supreme Effort, who drops in weight and has drawn well. Tomorrow's provincial meeting is at Newcastle. One to watch is the Chris Lee's trained Biscuit Time in race four. He raced greenly when running second on debut and will be fitter this time out. To interstate, perfect reflection is on the top line of betting for the Kingston Town Classic in Perth tomorrow after her third place in the railway stakes last start and her impressive career record of six wins from ten races. Too Good to Refuse may prove exactly that for punters, as he chases his second straight win in the George Moore Stakes at Eagle Farm. Jim Byrne retains the ride after their recent win. Miss Covergirl returns after taking out the tiara in June, with trainer Kelly Schweder confirming she's as forward as she can be before a run. Internationally, the focus is on Hong Kong, with Rebel Dane leaving Australia on Sunday afternoon. He'll be stabled with Takedown and Benzini, who is set to run in the Hong Kong Vars Sunday week. And that's our racing news.